I'm going to give you the real deal on this carbon C60, but first I'm actually putting it out from another angle. What I'm thinking is, why not restore the old-time traditionalists that really are the backbone of America, not all the garbage that's going on today. You know, the uh, the ones that would never do vote for a demo rat in a million years, but probably wouldn't really like somebody that's a cuck conservative either, like a Republican retard. You know, the, the old, old-timers, the World War II generation, could you imagine if they were all restored to 20 years old again? How great America really would be. Can't depend on one person. How about millions of people that can freaking do the job, okay? Let's not just elect one guy and say, oh, we got it all done. So I'm going to get on the point with carbon C60 here in real quick. And um, first, I want to say it's all about independence, doing your own thing, not uh, listening to others, um, and going along with the flow. That's really the way you got to roll, okay? That's one reason I like this rebel Confederate flag so much, man. Ha <laughs> ha. Anyway, um, now, to get on with the study, you remember that you heard about recently that they published a study that rats reached a astronomically long lifespan of six years. And they said that was really unheard of when they took doses of carbon C60. Now, first off, I'm going to get into how many doses they were and what the doses were, what they would be equivalent to with a human. They were big doses. When they found out that rats lived to be six years, um, they were trying to toxify them with carbon C60. This was a toxicity study where they were trying to say, let's see if this stuff is toxic at real high levels. And obviously it wasn't. It's just like the rats lived even longer. They did other studies where they gave them lesser amounts of carbon C60, and the rats lived longer, but not double. You know, it was 93% on average. Now, a rat that doesn't live in captivity will live about one year uh, because of predators being out in the wild and subject to the climate and whatever the hell's going on, right? Now, I want to show you here the rat's age versus human years, because this actually hints at something else. One thing they said they didn't do in the study with the rats that they tested for toxicity with carbon C60 was that they did not check the telomeres. The telomeres are the end caps on the chromosomes. That's the real limiting factor where humans can live to maybe be an age, a theoretical age of 120, 125 max. If you can keep the telomeres long and not shrink, you can live many, many years past that. Now, I'm going to also state here the astragalus root, which I sometimes take, and now I'm taking handfuls of it, for crying out loud, astra, astragalus root extract. It's a Chinese herb that's been known to sh lengthen the telomeres where they're critically short, which is really where you want them lengthened. You want to really lengthen the ones that are in danger of causing the chromosomes and the cells not to divide. Ha -ha. Now, if you look at this chart, you know, 1.5 months for a rat's age is 12 and a half for a human. One year is 30 years, two years is 60 years, three years is 90 years. So if a rat lives to be three years, usually in captivity, it lived to be two or three years old max, right? Um, four years is 120 years. So six years would be 180 years. So in other words, these rats that were given massive doses of carbon C60, which they were checking for toxicity was actually the equivalent of a human living 180 years. Okay? Now, they were given 24 doses of this stuff. And um, the doses, if, a human equivalent doses would be over 3 ounces of this stuff for each dose. Over 3, three ounces. Now, normally what they're telling you to take is less than half a teaspoon every so many days um you know it's it's way under what the rats were given per you know human body weight now the fact that the rats live to be 6 years old around 6 years old roughly right it screams it really screams i mean without even testing it they reach past their theoretical age limit with cell division. So obviously, you know what I'm saying is, you know, not even testing, because they didn't test it. You can pretty much infer, and it's like, you know, you know are you going to wait 10 years to see when the next study's coming out? Uh, don't even go with it. Go with what seems to be the most common sense. 
Obviously, the telomeres must have been lengthened, either on a critically short, where they were critically short, or whatever. Now, they did not test the rats with um, high dose of carbon C60, giving them iodine, giving them astragalus root, optimal levels of vitamin C, vitamin D, magnesium, zinc, or whatever. If they did all that, it could have been even more. Now, the other side of it is, too, you can't just look at this carbon C60 and even all the nutrients and everything, the minerals and all this, and just look at that. But you also got to look at oxidative stress. Um, and I'm going to get into that in a second. Also, glycation, where well, sugar, sugar is a toxin, a poison. Everything we eat today is a toxin. It's sugar this, sugar that, all over the place. High fructose, corn syrup, everything. So, actually eliminating that is going to contribute very high to longevity. Um, and also you got, you know, predatory government yo-yos. You have, you know, people that are want to kill you just for the hell of it. You know, you got people out there. I mean, I mean, you know, you can if you even have like a lobster lives never ages, right? If you ever did you know that a lobster, a lobster never ages. The reason a lobster dies is because of predator. So if you even solved where you can live forever and never ever age, it'd be like you're 20 years old, forever and ever, you still got predators. You got to watch out. Keep your Colt 1911 on your side or whatever you got to do, whatever you like. I don't like Glocks, okay? They're plastic. I'm old school. Okay, whatever. <laughs> but the other side of it is the main thing that's the limiting factor in longevity is the telomere shortening. That's the stumbling block where we have <coughs> a limitation of 120 to 125 years. That's it. Now you think that's pretty long? Well, the rats live to equivalent of 180 years. That's a hell of a lot longer. I mean, 60 years for human life. Wow, right? Hmm. So anyway, what I'm saying here is that <coughs> I don't even know if the rats <coughs> were given the optimal level of carbon C60. In other words, they try to kill them with to They try to see if the stuff was toxic. In other words, that would be like taking, you know, you have a 100 milliliter bottle of carbon C60. That would be like one dose, drinking a whole damn bottle. That's what, that's what they were giving the rats. Okay? And they gave it to them when they're fairly young, like one year old or something. Not, I mean, one would be like 12 and a half for a human, right? Whatever, or wait a minute. I think 30, 30 years old for a human, right? Um, who the hell knows? But say they gave him double what they gave him over there. Would they live to be 9 years old, 10 years old, 12 years old? I don't know. That's another factor. Suppose they gave him optimal levels of vitamins. What would happen then? Maybe they'd be alive even longer. I don't know. So I can't emphasize enough that this junk, and you know, there's not that much. Oh, the other thing is, keep carbon C60 out of light. I got mine, it's in a brown bottle, which is, you know, the light doesn't go through it very well. But I keep it in the box it came in when it came through the mail. So it's in the box, too. It's in the cardboard box. Um, and actually, you know, I saw one guy taking a teaspoon of it. And he's drinking it straight, and he's like, oh, wow, that's nasty. You know what I do? I drink it like a flask of whiskey. I take the bottle, shake it up a little bit, and I take a good swig out of it every once in a while. So sometimes I'm taking a half an ounce or an ounce at a shot, you know? I'm actually, I'm, I'm, and act, you know what you really ought to be doing? Like the old gold gunslingers back in the old west, instead of having that little metal flask full of Tennessee Jack Daniels, have a little metal flask full of carbon C60. Filled with some astragalus root, you know, pills on the side or something like that, and your your magnesium, uh, zinc, and uh, iodine, selenium, vitamin D, vitamin C, and nature's way alive. Well, vitamins, you know, whack, pop them in your mouth, chug down some carbon C60 to wash them down. You're good to go, right? That's the way you gotta roll, baby. All right. I want the crazy old people to get like back to the way they were 20 years old. And eat the freaking millennials and, and all the Generation X alive, okay? I mean, I'm talking about the people born in the 20s and 30s and early 40s and shit. I want them going back to 20 years old. I think this junk, 
You see, if you lengthen the telomeres on your... I don't think anybody's even doing this junk right exactly. You know, they're taking like a little bit here and there. I start swigging the junk left and right. Now, I take a whole pile of vitamins as it is, and I don't know what the hell it's doing. You know? But we'll find out. Yeah, it's not cheap, but that's okay. My life is worth it, you know? And, uh... Yeah, could you imagine these two old coots being around? Boss Hog and, and Jesse, Uncle Jesse, the old-time moonshiners. Maybe if they went back to, like, they're 20 years old. I'd like to see Cooter Ben Jones taking his carbon C60. You know? We can establish a new southern confederacy with the headquarters up there in the Blue Ridge Mountains. Ha-ha. Uh-huh. You, know, you know what it is? The communist... See, I'm going on a tangent on this thing, even though it's about carbon C60. The communists, jackass, whatever the hell you want to call these liberals, I don't even know if they're not liberals. I'm a liberal. They're not a liberal. They're t- control freaks. They want the older generation dead so they can come in with the new freaking garbage. And the new garbage is just going to be a bunch of protoplasma amoebas that will be controlled by, you know, a f- few know-it-alls, right? Well, I want the old traditionalists to go backwards in age. And start living hundreds of years old and kick all their asses out of here, okay? That's what I'm looking at. So that's my angle on this carbon C60 deal. And I think it works, to tell you the truth. Um, You know, I don't know if this is a new picture or an old picture. It's probably a new picture made to look like an old picture, but you know the idea, right? Crazy broads and freaking cow- cowboys with guns and Jack Daniels except carbon C60 and a bunch of vitamins. Um... What I'm looking at is that they do not tell you, what I'm, infer, what I'm telling you is this, they're not really telling you exactly what's going on. I'm giving you some raw common sense angles that the other people aren't. And I know this isn't a placebo effect because if people give it to their dog and the dog could not jump on the bed anymore because it's too old, and all of a sudden they give this stuff to the dog... And the dog's jumping up on the bed. It's lively like it was much younger. Or the cat is all messed up. And like I had two cats over here. And two of them were, one of them was outside. And the one I found that, you know, had all the problems with her fur. Hey, they're like brand new cats, man. I was like, holy smokes. Then I start looking up what happened with people's cats and dogs. And I says, oh, my God. This is like, this is what's going on. So it's not like your mind is thinking you're healing up because you can make your mind can actually cause your body to heal you know that's called the placebo effect so in other words if you think you're getting better that could actually make you better if you have a positive outlook that could actually make you better if you feel like really bad that can make you worse so i mean but the cats and the dogs they don't know what the hell they're getting so if they get better it's because of the stuff they got there's no placebo effect there's no mind effect nothing they don't even know what the hell they got so the stuff really works, right? But if they gave them less dose on the rats, and the rats, some rats lived like with a lesser dose, had a more, you know, increased lifespan, and then the toxicity jo- dose showed like a 93% average lifespan increase. That was a toxicity test. Obviously, it wasn't toxic. Um, what is the optimal dose? Is it even five times that? I mean, that toxicity dose would have been like drinking a whole hundred mil, like a three over three ounces for a human in one shot, twenty-four doses of the stuff. I suppose you're taking a hundred doses of eight ounces each. What the hell would you live to be? A thousand years old? I don't know. And then you know you got to figure in: don't eat sugars, don't drink. Oh, by the way, also, in older people or in older rats, excuse me, rats. You see, this what I hate about this information is because you can get the, you can give this to the if the politicians get a hold of this crap. I don't want those guys being around. I want the World War II vets being around. You know what I mean? I don't want the bad people being around. But in the older, like they they gave rats that were getting senile, right? The carbon C60 it restored their brain function. The younger. They also with ta- carbon C60. The, the control group with the carbon C60, they try to kill them with radiation. They gave them lethal doses of radiation. That group with the carbon C60, hardly nothing happened to them. They're barely affected. The group that gave the lethal, the other one, the group with the lethal radiation, they all died. They tried giving um, uh, toxic liver chemicals 
to one group that didn't have the carbon C60, they died. The same amount of toxic liver chemicals given to the group of rats with the carbon C60 hardly affected at all. And you know what's weird about this stuff? When you're saying the carbon C60 is in olive oil, right? There's not much of it in there. So I mean, it must be in your body a long time. And the other side of it is this. Um, I think there's other angles to it that I know the original manufacturers of the carbon C60 say you got to have the olive oil. Now, the one I used on my cats, that was the purple power carbon C60 in avocado oil, which wasn't tested. But it seemed, but I'm like, what the heck? You know, what? I mean, either it was a cat miracle on both two different cats. One had the injury. I thought the guy was a goner. I thought he was dead. And, it, and the things like five, six weeks later, it's like uh, gray skin with fur coming back in. I never saw a cat heal up so fast in my life. And it was the worst injury I ever had. I thought he was dead. That was Boots the cat. And my little cat here, white cat gold digger, with her fur that was all screwed up, the one I found, and nothing was seem to be working on her. And uh, I was giving her good food. And all her fur came back in. All the stuff that was underneath her chin was bald and around by her tail and all these little dots where the fur was coming out. It all came back in. But that goes along with a lot of other stuff that's been going on. So, I don't know, man. I don't think anybody's taken anywhere near the optimal dose of this stuff. So, I've been, like, taking the, you know, I've been keeping a bottle. And I just, I take a swig out of it a few times a day. How's that? Pretty good? We'll see what happens. I'm not going to freak it. It's not going to happen overnight, but it will happen. 